Hi, this is Kevin Battersby with BattersbyGolf.com in Coconut Creek, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use a belly putter. Actually, now at 50 years old as a senior player, I've gone to the belly putter for my own putting, as opposed to the standard conventional 34, 35 inch putter. Uh, you'll notice this is a Mitsuno putter. It's a Bettinardi, one of the top of the line putters, with a long shaft and actually a longer type grip than you normally would have in your putting. What this allows for is very variations of grips to be used by the player, uh, and also it's so much more uh, better feel for your hands and the grips in the past. They've come a long way with putter grips. When I grip the belly putter, I set the putter down and I extend both of my arms and put one finger, four finger down the side and the club is resting just at my belly button. The object of this is to keep that centered and as I swing this putter, you'll notice there's very little wrist movement, almost none, and it's a pendulum motion. As I swing the club back further, I'll get more power and it's, that send the ball further down the fairway. Many variations of the grips. If you notice, I have my almost my conventional normal grip with the belly putter. A lot of players like to have a cross-handed grip. The advantage of the cross-handed grip is it stabilizes the impact on either belly putting or regular putting, but also it seems to level out your shoulders. Again, I'll go back to the first grip where my right hand is lower, similar to my normal grip, my right shoulder is a bit lower. As I do the cross-handed putting, my shoulders level out. I believe Tom Kite, great player on the, on the tour today, was the first player that came up with that as an idea. Jim Furyk employs this cross-handed putting method. But basically, when you're doing, using the belly putter, many variations, you can use your regular grip, you can extend your arms, or you can go to a style like Mark Kalkovecchia and Chris DeMarco, where actually they're trying to eliminate any wrist action or finger action in the shot. You can see I have the putter now wedged between my forefinger and my thumb, and as I swing that back, it's very sensitive, but then again, it makes me swing the club because I really don't have a great grip on the club with my hands. Other variations are to put the club up here with my thumb, and again, you do that grip. Some players like to even split the hands. Again, I personally like to use my normal putting grip, just extend my arms with my forefinger down, and let the putter swing as one pendulum, letting the putter release back to the hole. For me, it allows for less push putts because the club's going back to the inside. This is Kevin Battersby showing you how to use a belly putter.